All right, everybody, welcome again to another Hyonic tutorial. Not really a tutorial, but again, in this video, as I have shown in the news reader, I'm gonna show you the working of our application which we created right now the timer one. So, let's just go to file manager SD card down here. You can see this timer.apk, it's 2.4 MBs again. Let's open, and uh, yes, I have just skipped over. A tutorial where you sign and do all that stuff and yes I haven't even edited the name in the package.js when we are well you can do that you know how to do that and if you don't then go back to my newsreader APK tutorial I guess this was the second last one tutorial in which I taught you how to just edit the names and stuff so that's pretty easy to do and just requires a minute or two <laughs> well that rhymed well and uh, so let's just install it and here we go so let's just wait for it to install and uh, as you can see the app is installed so let's just open it and again the same screen so it pretty much shows me the same thing which was visible on the browser but right now you can see that if I can just edit right let's just say i edit at 15 seconds and hit on start you can see it works like a charm just like it did on the browser so i don't know what happens to the alert because i have even never tried that let's just see what happens when the timer's up okay so we get a nice little alert not to worry about so the alert works good as well and if i just you know that's not coded for zero seconds so let me just go with 10 again and hit start 8 7 6 and stop it right there so it showed me you killed the damn timer so it's pretty cool and amazing app well you can actually publish this on play store if you want to well I'm not gonna do that because uh, there are a lot of applications like this available and even better than that but don't worry you are still learning about this so it might take a bit of time for you to create a well known application so yeah that's pretty much it and that's how this application works and you might want to just edit all of that stuff like ionic blank starter I haven't even edited the title up there so yeah so that's pretty much it and if you like this tutorial or basically the kind of tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching